good. All right. So that's what we're doing here tonight with the healing clinic. Um, let me see. Also, again, we're not going to be praying for any other needs other than allergies, but that does include any allergy. Hi, Lilia. Um, there are going to be a lot of other clinics for other areas of, uh, of healing. We're, we have one for cancer coming up, uh, one for diabetes, um, one for arthritis. Um, if there's a specific area that you want us to target, you know, go ahead and um, private message one of the mentors. Let us know. But we are hitting the main things that we see people are dealing with. Also, um, if you need prayer, you don't have to wait for these clinics. These clinics are great, but you're always welcome to private message any of the mentors on um, Adventures in Identity and ask them for prayer. I know they will pray with you, but also they'll bring that need to the rest of the mentors, and we will gladly agree with you on, in prayer. We have a couple of mentors on tonight. I want to introduce them just in case. Um, I know we have a couple new people on. So John Jamerson, who's my husband, is, of course... A mentor and let's see let's see I know Jennifer Reedy is on this call she is a mentor with AI uh, Lilia Warunki is on the call uh, she is a mentor with AI um, let me um, and let me just check and see who else is on here uh, John oh Nora Norton is on the call Nora is a mentor Nora is fabulous in the healing um, has some awesome testimony so any of those people that are here on this call, you can private message them and ask for prayer. And, and, and or if you'd like to see a clinic done um, regarding some sort of other illness, disease, whatever, it's, it's all an attack. But you know what? If you know what you are fighting with and you'd like us to fight with you, I'm sure there are other people that would see it and go, wow, that's great. I need to get on there too. So don't hesitate. Okay, don't hesitate. We're, we're, all, we're all in this together. We are one body and we need to be healthy and strong for the kingdom. So that's why we like to come uh, together in agreement for life. And, uh, and we're not perfect. Let me just say that right up front. Just because we're mentors and we're carrying this event or this healing clinic doesn't mean that we've got it all wrapped up and our health is 100%. Most of us are not at 100%, but you know what? We have learned something about the truth of God and healing and that it works. And we have seen healing um, in people's lives when we have spoken life to them. And so to us, Jesus said, um, my believers are, excuse me, believers will do, you know, A, B, and C. One of them is cast out demons. Well, heal the sick is another one. So we take that mandate seriously and we're commissioned to do it. And so that's why we do it. And uh, so thank you for joining us, but don't put us on any kind of pedestal. Everyone can do this. If you're in Christ, you can do this. Okay, we're not going to be praying again for any other needs and allergies tonight. Um, we're going to take names for those who are here for prayer and those who are here to pray. All right. Um, if you're here to receive prayer, you're not going to pray. Again, like I said, you're in receiving mode. And we ask when you are being prayed for that you don't speak in tongues you don't pray. You can thank God and focus on him. That's great. But we want you in receiving, not when you pray and you speak in tongues, you're releasing life out of your mouth. We don't want you to be releasing anything. We want you to just be receiving. Okay. So um, let's get a, a list going of those names. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Because otherwise I'll forget. So Sarah, you're here to learn. Okay. So you're observing. That's fine. Who is here to be prayed for? Lilia. Lilia, you need prayer. All right. Who else? Nadez, you want to learn how to pray. Perfect. We will put you to work. Uh, Sherry. Sherry, you're here to receive? Yep. Okay, Sherry. And Nora? Nora? Mm -hmm. Receiving. And let's see. Michelle, you would like to pray. Do you need healing for any allergies, Michelle? Or you're just here to pray? Yeah, that's Christina. You have, Michelle, you have allergies. Okay, let's pray for you. And uh, Christina, you're, you're a proxy for your husband. That's fine. And his name is Tony. Proxy for Tony. 
Jennifer, you're here to pray, but you're also here to receive, I believe, is what you said. Any of the mentors that want to pray and receive, you're, you're welcome to do that because I know well, that you I, know how to do it. I like to believe that when I pray, I receive. You do. You do. You're so really, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> skip over from receiving to praying tonight. So. Okay. Any of the other mentors, though, Nora or Lilia, I know that you're both receiving tonight. If you would like to pray, you know, be available to pray for people as well, that's fine. We could use you. Okay, so Nora, I know that you guys know what you're doing as far as prayer goes, and so that's wonderful. Thank you both. If you don't want to, though, you know, if you're just in the mood tonight to receive, you need to. We've all been there. Don't feel obligated to pray. That's fine as well. All right, so let me see. Did we get... Did we get everyone either praying or receiving? So, oh, that's Sherry. Boy, I wrote that terrible. Grip, girl. Have any of you noticed that the more you type, the worse you write? I really need to practice my handwriting. Okay, so Christina. And did I miss anybody? Let me. I want to make sure, because I believe we had another person on the call. Um, Diane Casterling, are you here to pray or to receive? I'm sorry, I didn't see in the chat. Can you tell me what she says, John? Because I'm looking down the list. I do see. I you. said, oh, I said pray. Oh, pray. Okay, thank you, Diane. I must have missed it. Um, Tosin, Tana Mula. Tosin, you're on the call. Hello. Oh, he's typing. Okay, let me go look in chat. Yeah. Yes. Are you here tonight to receive prayer for allergies, or are you on the call to pray for others? Receive. That was a quick thumbs up on when I said receive. So receive. Okay. Receive. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, so I think we got everybody either receiving or praying. Good job. All right. <clears throat> Let me see. All right. The, when you are the receiver being prayed for tonight, we're going to ask that you, when you give feedback, okay, after you pray, after people pray for you, and, and then we say, and we open up for feedback, I want to restrain you from talking about uh, negative symptoms, dosages of meds, diagnoses, any of those things that have been spoken over you that are in regard and agree with sickness okay if you're here we know it's for healing of allergies and that's really all we need to know there's a couple of reasons why we prefer this the main one is that um, we can get really used to talking about sickness so much and giving it too much place in our life we should really be focusing on life i'm going to post this picture that i see that picture over there in chat i got that off of Pris was it priscilla's I think it was. But see, it says talking about our problems is our greatest addiction. Break the habit. Talk about your joys. Our words are so important. What we speak over ourselves is critical. It is vital. There is just nothing more important than what you speak about yourself. And your body is hearing you. So if you're constantly speaking negative, if you're constantly, oh, this, you know, I, I hate this, my throat this, my nose this, oh, it's so this and that, you're pretty much cursing your own body with your words. And by cursing, I just mean you're talking death toward it. You're talking negative. So we need to move away from that. And especially for tonight, we want to hear nothing but, I, you know, you can either say, I feel really good, um, I feel like, uh, some of my symptoms are gone or all of them, but I don't want to hear about the symptoms individually. Um, and if you don't, do you feel lighter? Sometimes that is a release from the demonic that might be an aspect of allergies. Uh, do you feel more hopeful? Again, that is another deliverance. Um, uh, it's another thing that you feel when you've had some sort of deliverance. And deliverance is important is, um, in regard to sickness as well. Because a lot of times our physical ailments come on and the demonic will attach to it and exacerbate it. So if you were, you know, say, let's say when you were younger, you might have gotten a few sniffles. But now every season that changes, you are full blown allergies. You can't breathe. You know what I'm saying? That's, it's like exacerbated to the max. It might have a demonic attachment. It might. I'm not saying it does, but it might. The enemy's calling card is going overboard. 
He likes to go overboard on everything. So, yes, we're going to be speaking blessings over our body. We're going to love our body. Our body is the temple of Holy Spirit, and our body is a gift from God. It was fearfully and wonderfully made. And if you speak and love your body, your body's going to hear that. All right, before we get started with praying, um, hold on, let me yell at my dogs. All right, John's going to go yell at him. Um, yeah, it is difficult. I hear you. It is difficult. When I first started this, um, this walk with divine healing, I was shocked at how much I spoke nasty about myself. I was like my worst critic. John, go get your dog. Thank you. And you know what? And when I made up my mind that I was going to change that talk because Proverbs 18:21 was just hanging over my head all the time. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat the fruit thereof. Well, I wanted to eat the fruit of life. But when I decided that I was going to stop all the negative talk, I mean, I had a big old deal with self-hatred and everything. When I finally decided and I said, Holy Spirit, I need you to catch me on this. He did. Every, t- every time I would say something that was um, negative toward myself, and I'm talking, it could be minor. I would feel this check in my spirit. Like, now, is that true? <laughs> Just like that. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. No, it is not true. Okay. I repent of that. I'm, I take it back. You know what? That is not who I am, I would say. And I had to catch myself. And when, you, and when you do that, and he, you know what? He's faithful. If you want him to do it, he will. But when you do that and you keep backtracking and catching yourself and then saying, that's not who I am. This is who I am. And, and covering it with truth. Pretty soon your mouth doesn't even go there. Those ugly thoughts might come into your head, but you won't say them. Your mouth will clam up and it won't say that because you've trained yourself already. And then you know where that stupid thought come from, from the loser. And then what do we say to him, Jennifer? You are not the boss of me. Hit the road. That's what we say. Or we do the burning prayer and destroy him, which I like best. Oh, thank you, John. All right, so before we get going with prayer... We're going to read through what I like to call the clearing the air document. Um, So what we're going to do is we're going to read through a document that I call clearing the air. And it's basically a declaration that we are speaking. And uh, you're going to see what it's about when you when you read it. Every time we do a clinic, I ask Holy Spirit if there's anything that he wants to add uh, to it or remove from it. And he changes it up. He's changed it up every single time we've done a clinic. So, you know what? He knows what he's doing, right? I'd just be obedient and change it up and say, let's go with it. This is getting our words in line with what we want in our body, which is healing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through it. I want you to repeat it after me. And I'll read slowly so there's time uh, for you to repeat it. And I know we have a little bit of a time delay for those that might be farther away. So, um, you know... Please have some grace. If, I re- if I'm reading really slowly, it's so that I'm making sure everybody is hearing this and having the time to repeat. Okay? <clears throat> okay. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who came in the flesh, I present myself before the Lord today to receive the complete healing of my body. This was provided through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross and resides in me by the Holy Spirit of God. As an act of my free will, I come out of agreement with sickness in my body. Any agreement that was made by any part of me is now null and void and powerless to stop my healing. 
I also repent and come out of agreement. with any spirit of rejection that spoke the lie to me that I was rejected of God and of men. I am accepted in Jesus, the beloved and I am a righteous and holy son of God. As the core person of this temple that is inhabited by Holy Spirit, I declare that his divine will For my physical wholeness overrides any lie or diagnosis that I may have believed in the past. I speak the shalom of God to my body which is his safety and soundness in my body. I repent of fear, doubt, and unbelief in regard to my healing and ask for your forgiveness, Lord. And I receive your forgiveness. I forgive anyone in my life that has given power to sickness in my body by speaking words of death over me. And I forgive myself for doing this as well. I call every word of disease and sickness that was spoken over me canceled right now. Thank you, Lord, that you have cleansed me and filled me with your blood. You have purified me and filled me with your light and fire. You have given me faith and placed your shield around me. I now choose to put off the old nature And put on the new nature. I declare by faith and the words of my mouth. I have the mind of Christ. And I am an overcomer. Lord, I believe it is your will. To heal me right now. And I receive it by faith. It is not given to me because I deserve it or have earned it by my efforts. It is not withheld from me because I am too sinful or unworthy. For you to give it to me. It is mine because you love me. Because I belong to you. And because your word says it. Lord Jesus, you paid for it. 
So I receive your healing for me right now in my body, in my mind, brain, and emotional being, and in my heart. I believe that I will recover according to your word. Amen. Okay, we're going to move in to prayer now, and I'm just going to go down the list, and we'll pray for everyone on the list who needs to receive prayer, and then we'll open up the mic, and you guys can give some feedback if you would like, okay? So the first person on the list is Lilia. So prayers, um, first person on the list to pray is Jennifer. So Jennifer, you want to pray for Lilia? Yes, ma'am. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for Lily. Lilia, what level of discomfort are you feeling? Five out of ten. Okay. Okay, first of all, Lord, we just speak peace over Lilia. Just speed all, all, all discomfort you go. We just speak Holy Spirit peace over her right now in Jesus' name. I just command all muscles to relax, all nerves, all nerves to just be relieved, all tension to be gone right now in Jesus' name. And I speak to all sensitivities and all um all things that might come against her, and I command, I command them to die right now. Lilia's body is perfect. No thing shall irritate her. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, right now, everything relax. All sensitivities go right now in Jesus' name, and we thank you, Lord. Are you feeling any better, any improvement, Lilia? Yes. Okay, where are you now? Um, already when, the, when Diana was praying the prayer and I was following, already the, the discomfort went down. Now it's like 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. Because I'm sensing that, um, that the allergies are, are making you tense up and putting your nerves on edge. And so that's why I spoke. I spoke to the um, to the muscles to relax and all the nerve endings to relax, to release the tension there so that um, anything coming against you would, would not have the effect, would not have the effect because you're not tense, you're relaxed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. More, more Holy Spirit. We just want more relaxation, less tension right now in Jesus' name, and no sensitivity. All sensitivities leave now in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father, for complete restoration of her body to its full immune capacity. The immune, I speak to the immune system, and I tell you to stand up, to stand up to your full ability that was given you in Jesus' name, for your immune system is perfect. I call it perfect in Jesus' name, and nothing, nothing can tear it down, because it, hers is the temple of Jesus. Holy Spirit dwells there. Immune system, you are intact. You are fully restored and made perfect and whole in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. No tension, no tension in Jesus' name. How are you doing now, Lilia? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Really, I felt, wow, a lot of relief. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Lilia. Next. That's the way we do it. Awesome. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, next person on the list to receive prayer is Sherry. Sherry Sam. And Nadej, you are next on the list to prayer, uh, to pray, excuse me. Uh, so Nadej, can I have you open your mic for a minute so I can just ask you a question? Sherry, you need prayer for environmental and food allergies. S'il vous plaît. Yes. Good. S'il vous plaît. There you go. So Nadej. <laughs> 
Now, Dej, I believe that I have heard you pray before, and you're a pretty good prayer. You know that we're just going to speak to the system and the, uh, the symptoms or the disease or whatever it is in the name of Jesus and kick it out, right? Okay, yes. Very good. Okay, I believe I had heard you pray. So when you said you were here to learn, I thought, hmm, I think, you, I think you're pretty good. But you know what? It's always good to practice and to pray. Yes, I need to yeah. practice more. <laughs> amen, amen. We all do. Okay, so if you would okay. please pray for Sherry. Okay. Um, environmental and food allergy. Okay, Sherry. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I speak to Sherry's body now and I speak life into Sherry's body. I ask her immune system to be stronger now and to resist any allergies. I forbid confusion into her immune system. And I speak the life coming from the Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead. I ask the immune system to align to this truth. I also speak to... Yes, I speak life to her bones, her marrows, her muscles, her... Um, her nerves, everything that is connected to the food allergies, I speak life now. I ask the body to stop being confused and listening to the lies. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Body of Sherry, I speak the word of faith to you. So I demand that every part of this body will perform a perfect work according to the word of God. I speak um, truth, life, health, and complete healing in the body of Sherry. I command every allergy to stop now and the body to start functioning fully and perfectly according to the word of God. Every cells, every um, blood cells and everything that is functioning in this body will start functioning according to the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good job, Nadej. And Sherry doesn't have a mic, so she's going to type over in chat. And uh, Sherry, if you have any feedback for Nadej, that would be great. You can go ahead and post it in chat. Yes, please. And good job. Good job, Crane. The next to receive tonight is going to be Nora. Nora Norton. You on the call, Nora? I just want to make sure because I think someone left. Yeah, I'm oh, on the call. Was, okay, good. It was chosen. Um, all right, so John's going to pray for you, Nora. Uh, uh, I do want to let you know that when we recited that prayer, that the few hives that were left went down 90%. Whoa! Whoa! Just from reciting, just oh, yeah. from reciting that prayer. So if you could post that prayer... On this thread, oh yeah, I would, we I would are definitely doing copy that. it and keep it on my um, on my my save list. Wow, I always do. Yeah, yeah. I have like, yeah. like size hives, and now they're the size of peas. They're going, they're going on. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Well, my work is done here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, you'll see over in the chat uh, the healing prayer. Uh, okay, so you can, great. Uh, so you can download that. But right now, Father, I just, I burn, you know, I said the uh, fire of the Holy Spirit to burn the source of those, those hives right now. Just burn them out. Burn them out right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh. And I, I cloak, I, I cloak them. Is it him? Yes. Who's, who's the hives? Who has the hives? Nora. Nora? Yeah. Okay, Nora. 
Okay, I was making sure it wasn't for your son. Uh, but yeah, I cloak Nora right now from from any further sources of hives. And we thank you, Father, right now that she is healed and made whole. Her body is cleansed and clean. And we release the life of Jesus into her body. Right now. How are you doing, Nora? Okay, let me go look. In the stomach area. Okay, they're now uh, the size of a half a pea, and it's down to fifty uh, percent of them have completely disappeared. Like Amen. more than fifty percent. It's it's down to uh, five half a pea size hives. Five, <laughs> and they're leaving. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> They're Praise going home Jesus. now and packing their bags. <laughs> That's right. And we just uh, we uh, we apply the blood of Jesus over the area right now uh-huh. to cleanse to cleanse the cleanse the skin, cleanse every cell that's in that area. It is now purified by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Okay. Um, so, Nora, we might as well leave your mic open because you offered to pray, and I was going to have you pray for Michelle. Michelle is up next to receive, so if you wouldn't mind praying for Michelle. Michelle, you're on the call, right? You know what? This Yeah, she's there. This uh, this new Skype is hard to see all the people on. I have to click on the button. Yeah, and so we're just praying for general allergies or... Um, if um, Michelle a... wants to tell you, she, you can write in chat, Michelle, if you want to let her know what type of allergy. But you know what? We're basically just hitting allergies because they uh, are all, okay. you know, kind of, it's your body reacting to something. Okay. Yeah. Jennifer, okay. look at you bragging. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the old sign. Oh, you're so funny. Leave it to you to make me laugh. Michelle, are, are you on the call, Michelle? I just want to make sure before Nora... Um, starts praying for you. I know sometimes people step away, you know, to get water or pastrami sandwich. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Doesn't that sound good? Michelle, are you on Stop. the call? <laughs> I, was, I don't know why I've been thinking about pastrami today. I love pastrami. See, I don't, I don't, see, she, oh, that's probably why. Let me see. I don't see her on the list. Oh, there you are. Michelle, oh, she, yay. Hello? you're there. Okay, great. Nora's going to pray for you. If you'd like to let her know what you have an allergy oh. to, that's fine. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Okay, something wasn't working right with my phone. Um, I just have um, oral allergies, so I'm allergic to every fruit and vegetable. If it's not steamed, my my mouth has a reaction to it, and I have a lot of environmental allergies as well. Okay. All right. Um. Holy Spirit, show me. Father, I just lift up your precious daughter right now to be freed of this infirmity. We just command this infirmity bound and cast away from her. Doesn't matter whether it's, you know, what's sprayed on the vegetables, what, what, whether it's anything, anything environmental. We just command this to leave her now any reaction to it, anything in her body that triggers a reaction to it, we command it to calm down and to start reacting normally right now, a normal response to food. Lord, we bless everything that she eats from now on in advance that it will not have the reaction it had in the past. We ask you to purify everything in advance before it hits her plate. So she is set free of this aggravating infirmity. Infirmity, you, you're you bound and cast into the hands of Christ where he can crush you. There shall be no copycat spirits pretending that she is not healed. We block those in advance in Jesus' name. We speak peace, calm, and wholeness to her immune system that it responds normally and does not see food as the enemy any longer. Hello? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought something happened to my phone. Oh, that was it. That was the end oh. of the prayer. I don't see anything else. 
Okay, so okay. Michelle, did you want to give feedback? Yeah, I wanted to give feedback because I just, when you, it's going to take time for me to test this, but when you were praying, like, I just felt, like, excitement. And it started when um, we opened up in, with that declaration. So I just felt like it continued with your prayer. And so I just really wanted to thank you. Um, I don't know, I just have, like, um, Holy Spirit goosebumps, I guess. <laughs> so I just wanted to thank you because I do feel something. Awesome. Keep us posted. Yeah. Okay, I will. That's great. And also, Michelle, I did post that document up in chat, and you can read that again. Read it over your Good. again. I will because I was driving and I was, yes, I will. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It helps to come out of agreement with things. Sometimes we're in agreement yeah. and we don't even realize, you know. So. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so Sherry, oh, Sherry got deliverance when you were praying, Nora. It's all good. All good. Okay, so the next person to receive prayer um, is Tony, which is Christina's husband. She's standing in proxy for him. So let's see who's next to pray. Lilia, you are next to pray for Tony. And uh, Christina, did you want to unmute and let Lilia know what kind of allergy, or you just want her to nuke it for more of it? <laughs> I like to say that. That's the big bomb, covers everything. So, Lilia, you want to unmute your mic? And let's see, Christina's typing in chat. Yeah. Oh, you don't know how to unmute. That's okay. Um, you can use chat. That's fine. A lot of people just use chat. Um, so, we'll have Lilia just pray then a general prayer for allergies or whatever Holy Spirit might give to her. How's that sound? Because I know she can hear him wonderfully. She's typing. like spaghetti that little blue thing that wiggles oh he's allergic to pollen and mold okay hit it lilia yes yeah thank you jesus for christina and for tony lord thank you for this wonderful couple and we want to come all in agreement to pray for tony lord we speak health to his immune system we order that spirit of allergy to leave him right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray, I speak to his immune system to be strong. And I pray, dear Lord, that the spirit of anger will leave him right now in Jesus' name. I speak joy speak blessing to his heart and I speak peace to his mind bless Tony Lord in Jesus name I pray amen thank you I'm also going to have Diane Casterling pray for Tony uh, Diane can you unmute your mic yeah All right. yes hit it girl uh, okay thank you father for Tony and Christine, thank you, Lord. <laughs> ah, this, um, heal, heal the allergies that are in Tony's body or, um, I don't want to put curses, what seems to be, what seems to be in Tony's body, Lord. Um, just do what you need to do to um, make his body as yours is. Your, your body is... Um, is holy and he you are in him so no no allergies can be in your body if if his body is yours right oh, father um he his head, I know his head, his cover with the blood, his, um, his, he's healed by your stripes, Jesus. Thank you. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. Amen. How's how's it now? Well, Diane, she uh, this is Christina on the call, and she's standing in for her husband. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, that's okay. I don't think he's there. Otherwise, he'd probably be on the call for himself. But Christine, I did get a word for your husband as well when Diane was praying. Um, and so I'm just going to give it to you. You can give it to him. But I saw um, iron sharpening iron. I saw it like the clashing, you know, of iron coming together and the sparks coming off of it. And um, and the and I really sense that the Lord said that, you know, this that's happening right now is is iron sharpening iron. It's not um, anything that you that he. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm talking to to your husband, but it's not anything that he um, is doing. That's a negative. This is the enemy is coming against him, and that iron is hitting him. But he is iron back, and so what the enemy is meaning for harm, God is going to make it be for good because it is sharpening him. Now, God didn't send it. I want that to be really clear. It's the enemy that is attacking him. But the Lord is showing me that that iron is sharpening him. And what another thing that I heard the Lord say um, when Diane was praying was that he, <laughs> this is going to be weird, but you know what? I just, I've learned to just say what Holy Spirit gives to me. But that, that scripture came to mind, kiss the son. But he said, I want to kiss my son. In other words, the Lord is saying there's relationship with him that needs to be very intimate with your husband, and that's not there right now. There's, um, there's like a, a barrier. Maybe your husband um, uh, didn't have a good relationship with his dad. Or I'm speculating right there. That's not the word. But I'm just saying that the Lord is desiring to, like, grab your husband's face like you would do just a little small boy that you love who's your baby and just smooch on him you know well, we love to just grab those little cheekies and smooch on them and that's what I do with my granddaughters when they come over. I just want to kiss them and hug them because I just love them so much and that was the impression I want to kiss my son so I just really encourage you know some intimacy with the Lord if he hasn't isn't or hasn't been walking um in the knowledge that God loves him like that, maybe this will open his heart to receive that because there is an intimacy level that the Lord wants that isn't there right now. Okay. All right. Um, oh, he is here. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't even looking. I was looking up. Usually when I give a word, I'm not looking at the screen. I'm looking up. So anyway, Tony, I hope that you did hear that word and that is for you from the Lord. There is another... Um, relationship that you haven't uh, gotten into yet that God is seeking for you to seek him you know he's like saying I want to love on you like a daddy loves his children that he treasures because he treasures you um so I just I don't want to pull out anymore because that's all I saw and I don't like to go any farther than what I saw but anyway this was a really great night of prayer, you guys. Wonderful job. Um, we do want to hear how you do. Uh, you can post in this chat stream. It stays up in Skype, or you can post on the AI wall. Uh, actually, we have a testimony wall as well if you want to use that. And so, yeah, we do want to hear because all of these testimonies, they're powerful. O other people see testimonies, and they are engaged in faith to receive their own. So it's important. All right, we did go a little bit over our 30 minutes, but it was a, it was really great. It was so worth it. And yeah, 30 minutes is kind of a, a ballparker. We try to, to stick with um, a good amount of time, but not go overboard because you know what? Everybody, we know everybody's busy and um, this is a Friday night. And so, you know, all that kind of good stuff, but we love you all. And you know what, Jennifer, Jennifer Reedy, could you pray us out? That'd be wonderful. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you for each and every person here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're always in our midst, that you're always so desirous of showing yourself strong on our behalf. And we just thank you for all that you do. We speak blessings over each and every person here. And we thank you for the evidence, Lord, and the expectation of all that you call us to expect for you to perform on our behalf because we belong to you. In Jesus' name, amen and bonsoir. <laughs> Bonsoir. Good night, y'all. Love you.